Oh, yeah, I'm having some technical difficulties. Uh, it's going better. I really don't know. Um, yeah, that's about right. School looks a bit shit. Right, um, what the fuck is going on with screen? Anyway, um, so today I'm going to talk about communism and the um, fact it actually doesn't exist. Um, Communism as a concept um, exists, obviously, um, and we won't know what it is. But communism, there's no communist country now. Um, that is a, um, it definitely isn't. Um, now, I know what you're thinking, um, North Korea, China, to an extent. Well, uh, yes, to an extent. To an extent is a very important part of that sentence. Um, because um, they are to an extent um, communist. Um, but to an extent isn't really being communist. Um, like me saying to an extent, I'm a f um, an actor. Still only to an extent. I'm just going to fly around with these people for no apparent reason. Oh god. Okay, that hasn't gone well. That hasn't gone well. Yeah, that really hasn't gone well. Um. Now, um. Communism as a. Um. Right, I'll go, I'll go through just so you know how I know that there isn't communism. Is. Communism is. Um. Communism scapes that. To be communist, you um to have a communist uh, country, there can be no hierarchical system, there can be no money, there can be no currency, and because there's no hierarchical system, there can't be a government uh, because that will separate classes. Uh, there can't be a dictator, therefore there can't be a general, there can't be the army, police, uh, any hospitals. Um, because for that you need money um, to an extent. Um, however, if a, for example, uh, basically the communist system state for everyone is treated equally, everyone is equal, everyone, no one has a better job than anyone else. However, you could you could suggest that while that is there, um, you can't. Um, you will still be able to have certain things like hospitals because um, providing that the people supported the hospitals, so um, they, the people all not funded because there's no money, but in that sort of way, so supporting the hospital, um, uh, so they supported the hospital. Um, supporting the um, hospital themselves um, it basically the best way of um, of um, doing of suggesting communist system as of this would be um, basically your town um, all the people in the town got together at a meeting and said we want to have um, a um, centre for healthcare, for example. Um, so of course they would. Um, so what you do is you maybe there was a couple of people there who were trained for bought communism to be um, doctors or nurses. Now of course in a capitalist system such as the UK, um, this would mean they'd be on a lot more money than a farmer. Now, because there is no money, um, because there is no money in communism, um, you, uh, they wouldn't. So, that would mean that a farm worker would, I uh, would, um, be on would have the same um, place in society as a doctor or um, 
so um, taking that in to um, taking that into account, um, obviously none of the um, North Korea um, there's not a lot known. Uh, per I don't know a matter out of it uh, about it. But as far as I understand, there is no money, so that ticks the box. However, there is hierarchy, and um, not everyone is treated equally. Um, so, for example, um, Kim Jong Un and his family are treated a lot better than um, Bill the Farmer. Um, and therefore, it can't be a communist system because um, if it was, then um, yeah, keep pressing one button. Um, if it was, then um, if it was a um, communist system, then Kim Jong Un, the generals. Uh, we'll all be treated the same as a farmer. And that's not how it is. Um, and therefore, it can't be communist. Um, so, uh, North Korea isn't communist, then. So, what is it? Well, it is a dictatorship. Um, now, um, that's what um, USSR was with uh, Scarling and um, what China was up to um, Chairman Mao and still up to an extent now um, uh, China is actually quite a rare um, country um, because it is sort of all of uh, all um, political systems you have um, socialism which is a stepping stone to communism um, so I'll go through socialism because not uh, not everyone knows what socialism is uh, socialism is uh, the step to communism it is um, sort of halfway between capitalism and, um, and communism uh, now from my understanding well, it's not great. Um, I believe that socialist countries still um, have a hierarchical system, so they still have a government. Um, however, I believe currency is slowly removed. I don't think it's completely taken, um, but I believe it is slowly. Um, Nolding to uh, non-existence, I believe. I don't know, and I will try um, for the next video on this um, to get a um, the answer for that. But so basically, socialism is so China is slightly socialist uh, because of the. Um, very good, um, very interesting social policies they have, such as the one child policy that's quite famous. Um, so you have um, the one child policy that, um, and then you have a very, um, you have capitalist um, things in China, such as um, Shanghai and Beijing, very big capitalist. Um, Places, very financial uh, places, Hong Kong as well. Um, then you have, uh, well, an another show for, um, well, actually, um, China could be classed as communism um, as well in places. Um, the Pearl River Delta near, um, on mainland China, uh, sort of near Hong Kong. Uh, so if you go sort of into China, into mainland China from Hong Kong. Um, that sort of area, that is um, where a lot of Nike, well Nike have a lot of factories, a lot of people do, uh, a lot of big multinational companies, uh, Nike, um, Nike, 
um, all sorts of sort of countries like that, um, companies like that have uh, a factory there. It's very cheap. Um, it now gives something like five percent tax rather than the standard twenty-five percent tax. Something like that. There's a very large tax um, deduction in the area to help with uh, industrialization. But naturally, the people working in the factories are farmers, so for them, working for a dollar a day makes them rich. However, for um, people in the UK or in America, one dollar is not a lot of money. For one dollar, you couldn't get a lot in the UK. For one dollar, you wouldn't be able to get a chocolate bar. Um, one one dollar is about 60-something P, I think, from memory. Um, what is it? Something like one pound is one seventy one dollars, uh, I think. Um, last time I checked. So you wouldn't get a lot for a dollar in the UK. Um, but in China, a dollar in certain areas um, makes you quite rich. Um, and in China, um, I'll put it into perspective, a one yang is a tenth of a pe uh, ten. Hang on, one uh, one pound is ten ten yang, which is a currency. So a penny is a yang, uh, effectively. Now, um, certain things like um, you can get. Um, in certain places, even in Shanghai, which is a quite an expensive area, you can get um, suits made for 10 or 15 yang, which is pound 50 or something like that. Um, which isn't, very, isn't a lot. Um, now, um, obviously, then a, do a dollar a day is quite, quite good. Um, obviously. But... Um, it isn't communism, but it used to be dictatorship. Um, Chairman Mao was a dictator, which um, basically means that um, no one really got... Um, which is what um, Kim Jong-un is. He's a dictator. Um, what the hell is going on? Um, he, he is a dictator, so is his uh, dad. And I suspect his sons or his brother will... Well, his brother won't, because his brother's older than him. Um, and wasn't given the throne because he wanted to go to Disney World or something, apparently. Uh, or Disneyland in um, Japan. Now, um... So, um... The country that you think of as being communist aren't. Um, China is obviously um, most of them. Now it's quite odd actually. Um, not many people know about China's uh, political uh, situation, but um, the Chinese uh, president, effectively, um, guy that runs it, um, he is elected by um, governors. Um, now these governors are elected locally by the people. So it, it's similar to how uh, it, it would be effectively like... It's very similar to how we do it, but um, so in the UK, um, each... Um, in a general election, you vote for your um, Member of Parliament. So a leng, the majority, uh, so let's say majority was um, the Hug Party, let's say, um, so we don't turn into a political argument. Uh, let's say uh, they got the majority, then they would have their leader as the Prime Minister. Now, this, um, so they may have 100 seats, and the next one may only have 40 seats. So the one with 40 seats still has a say, but so the one that, let's say, it's the, um, 
the um, Jaffa Cake. The uh, Jaffa Cake group, or whatever. Um, they would have a say, but they have to get um, 60 other members from other parties to help them to um, overthrow a vote or to um, create a vote. Um, so let's say the vote was on. Um, I don't know. Let's pick. Right, um, the vote was on the next. Um, next TV advert to begin. A TV advert that's going to get banned. Um, and the uh, winning party, so the um, Prime Minister has decided he wants a. Um, he wants a. Um, a advert bang for whatever reason. Now, the other party would have to join together to um, outvote the Prime Minister. Um, so, so, um, and this is where, I, at the moment, we have a coalition. Um, it's because without, uh, so for David Cameron, without um, Clegg, um, he won't be able to um, vote. Um, if he wouldn't be able to, he didn't have the mi minority, uh, majority without um, Clegg. So he needs Clegg to um, to be able to do anything. So that's why um, Clegg is um, there. Because he needed to, um, for Cameron to be able to, um, to be able to, um, run, um, you know what I mean. Now, um, so, um, if you, um, so in China, it's a similar system, but rather than having a party so the governors the governors are voting in and then they can vote in um, the leader so it is very similar to the way it works here um, with some slight differences and that, that's um, you know fair enough why not um, so yeah, that that's fair enough. Um, so without um, so China has got sort of a bit of everything, and uh, you know, fair play. They're doing quite well. They're doing better than we are at the moment. Um, so yeah, and uh, whereas Russia. USSR um, was very communist, uh, well, very communist based from a Western point of view, but a dictatorship. It was originally designed to be a communist country, um, but then, you know, some people decided that they didn't want it to be communist anymore, and um, became generals. And, uh, generals, I haven't noticed, um, are higher. And because of the hierarchical system, therefore it can't be a communist country because of that. Now, um, that court means, Leng, that um, if you um, have generals, you can't have a communist system, and therefore, um, well, it's not communist, and... Um, that means that there isn't a communist system there, is there? Um, we up, up, and away. Um, so if there's not a communist system in Russia, which was designed to be a communist country, uh, where can you have a communist um, country? Well, um, I 
Oh, shut up. Um, <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, now to, um, oh, okay, I was expecting there to be a gang right now. Now, um, I picked uh, Just Cause 2 because of the, um, fact that it is, um, very much based on sort of a dictatorship, um, sort of, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> it's quite hard to put together. Um, yeah, it's eat bubbles. Um, so, um, get a dictator that runs the place. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, I'm just messing around because it's fun. It's fun to mess around on uh, just cause. Now I'm going to I can actually, if you grapple onto them quick enough, you can actually, uh, well, I forgot I'm finding another one, I'll show you. Here we go. You do, you grapple onto it. Grapple onto it. Oh, you pig. You can grapple onto it sometimes and uh, get it to take you up. Which is quite a fun way to exit the mission. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, that's going to be sort of it for now. I'll get back to you on uh, socialist systems um, at some point. Yay. Eat bubble, noob. <laughs> um now um so as I was saying um I don't know. Oh, oh god um so um what we what's we got out of this is um Ah oh, huh hit a roof <laughs> um so yeah, um, basically, don't judge a book by its cover. Um, communist countries aren't actually communist, um, which uh, you know is a bit of a shame. But what can you say? Um, communism doesn't pay. What you can say? Go. Then you have to jump off before it explodes. This guy doesn't tend to get end well if you explode. Um, so, um, yeah, next time you uh, want to blame communism for something, just remember it doesn't exist and most likely won't ever exist uh, just because of. Um, because of. Um, my greed, basically. Um, there's always going to be a, a general somewhere that wants to win. Or there's going to be a soldier somewhere that wants to be ahead. So, um, I was saying earlier, um, obviously, for a communist system to work, no one will get paid. And that doesn't tend to go down very well with people. Um, people tend to like money, and they don't blame them. It's very nice. But, um, you know, if you want to become a communist, uh, good luck. Hope it goes well. And, um, yeah, um, I think the next one I'm going to do about in this sort of, uh, mini series is, um, is going to be, um, it's going to be, um, Probably um, nukes and that sort of. Um oh god, that hasn't gone well. There we go, <laughs> that's how you fly. Um, probably be about um, the space race and uh, nuclear war and that sort of um, stuff, you know. Um, 
you know, the fun stuff as it's known. Um about um yeah, this is gonna be sort of a um semi regular thing, so if you wanna put um some comments of things you'd like to talk uh, me to talk about, um I shall have a look. Um I shall have a look um, and uh, see what they are and um, work out whether I want to um, do them. Um, not making promises, obviously, but um, I shall certainly have a look for what is uh, about and um, come about with uh, some other ideas about what we could do and. Um, to talk about so uh, I think I'll leave it here thanks for watching